when you look at a tight end, you're hoping that the tight end can develop, you know, an alpha dog physical mentality on the edge blocking. Because if you can have a guy that can block on the edge, then they're going to have to respect him within the run game. That's where Tyneal's taking the most growth is he's really, I feel like, you know, stepped out from the other guys on his ability to handle the edge consistently. Now, does he win every time? No, but I think he's improved there a lot. And what that allows you to do now is they have to respect that part of his game. Uh, and now people are getting to see him for what he can be too in the passing game. And he's had a couple grabs the last few weeks where you can see him in the air force game. He caught that ball underneath the coverage and got verticals like second and 16 and he got a gain of 11 or whatever. And I mean, he's made some nice plays. I think he's uh, again, similar to Octavius, the work he's putting in away from the facility and the work he's putting in on the practice field that's starting to turn into success for him in the games. And we're, that was a super, um, super important moment, I think, just for our offense was seeing him make that play. And guys were really excited for him because he's such a good dude. More of a field play, uh, most definitely. And uh, just getting practice reps and working on that and uh, getting the protection right up front and Hank delivering the balls and uh, all the receivers clearing out so I can make a play like that. Is, that was what made the play happen. So. so did you have a feeling the ball was coming your way? Uh, I wasn't sure. I mean, I felt, I felt two guys on me. so. Um, I wasn't sure if the ball was coming my way or not. And so um, when Hank dropped back and uh, just launched it, I was ready for, uh, to make the play. Were you number one on the progression or not in that play? Uh, I believe so. Okay. okay. <laughs> but um, I'm just ready to do my job. If they need me to do anything, they need me to do, I can do it. You're not getting a ton of targets. So when you do get it, when the ball comes your way, I mean, how important is it to, to come through? I just want to capitalize for my team. Um, if the ball comes my way, if it doesn't come my way, I'm blocking the run game, blocking. I want to do whatever I can do to help my team. Honestly, he's like, he's one of my best friends. Uh, I don't really tell a lot of people that, but he's one of my best friends. Uh, I talk to him every day. If I can, I talk to him every day, unless I'm busy with a lot of school work, because business is a big major here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> requires a lot of work, but uh, yeah, I talk to him every day. I love, I love my dad. He's an amazing person. So he owns a barbershop? Owns a barbershop, and we also have a nail salon, which my mom run, help runs too, so. Hair he hooks you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mom, mom does the hair dye, and then my dad, he makes sure I'm clean around the edges. <laughs> to be honest, I just want to change. And so um, being able to meet, um, at the time, Coach Reed and, um, shoot, he's at Arizona State now. Uh, Coach Joe, Hill. Coach Hill. Um, they came down, and we sat down uh, in my dad's barbershop, and we talked, and I just really liked those guys, and they just welcomed me already. And so I came up on a visit, and. I decided I wanted to kind of voice that. I felt like it was a great move and um, it's an amazing place, amazing people. And so I have amazing teammates and so I just love it here. At one point you had an Alabama offer, right? Or who were some of the other schools that, that you had offers from? I did have some uh, other schools, um, but nothing is like Boise State. I love being here, this is my team.